One day I listened to Pavarotti sing Nessun Dorma when I was about 19 years old. I had never seen an opera up until this point in my life. And uh, that changed me. That recording of him singing that aria, I listened to it for about a half hour and then I, I changed sort of my path and what I wanted to do. My first opera that I saw, I was 21 years old and it was, I saw two operas back to back, like one night and then the next night. It was La Traviata and Madama Butterfly, both operas that I sing today. And when I saw those operas, I thought, you know what? This is something that I think I'm really going to love to do. And I, without even having seen opera, I had chosen to do the career from listening to Pavarotti and from studying in Newfoundland classically and seeing some videos. I had chosen to go down this operatic path and uh, the first operas I saw were in Toronto when I went to audition for the opera school at the University of Toronto. I really do think this opera, Carmen, reaches out and uh, can touch everybody. And it's the perfect first opera to really bring people in because there's so many memorable tunes. Uh, the story is, is full of exciting moments that n it never gets boring and never stops. The action just keeps moving forward in a, in a wonderful way. Don Jose is a very complex character. I really enjoy playing Don Jose because there's a, there's a real scope, there's a real wide range of emotions and, and, and things that you go through to get to the end. People don't know about Jose that in the beginning, before the opera actually starts in the play, the reason why he is in Seville and a corporal in the regiment is because he's trying to get some order back into his life. He had killed a man prior to the beginning of the opera. Um, so he's trying to make himself better and make his mother proud of him. And I think he's kind of a, you know, I wouldn't say he's a normal guy because any, any person who actually kills a man in a, in a fight must have some sense of, you know, disdain or anxiety. I try to play him differently than, than some other people because I think there are moments when you can really be charismatic and show the nice qualities in José. He doesn't always have to be raging and full of, you know, have this horrible temper. Um, and, you know, there's moments, tender moments with Micaela in the beginning, in the, in the beginning duet, and, and he has some nice uh, flirtatious moments with Carmen. <laughs> Certainly by when you get to Act 3, all you really do see is the, uh, is the bad side of Jose. And uh, of course by Act 4, he's just an absolute lunatic, you know. And even in the Act 4 duet, there are still moments where he's pleading and begging Carmen. I think in the beginning, he's really trying to just win her back in a very gentle kind of way. And when he realizes that it's not going to happen, then he really just snaps. So I don't know, I find it, it's really fun. It's a great role to play, yeah.